on our active effortless restock Monday the 28th of February 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Okay guys, it is the moment we've all been waiting for. Honor Active Effortless Collection is finally restocking after it sold out literally in minutes. Um, but it's not only restocking, it's also got some extra pieces. So in this video, I'm gonna talk you through everything you need to know, sizing, prices, pieces, what is most likely gonna sell out, combos which go together. So stay tuned and keep watching. So this is an exciting video for me. This is my first video as an official Honor Active affiliate. This means I have a link down below in my bio, which if you can shop through on Monday, would be absolutely amazing. It does also mean that all these products have been gifted to me. I do wanna make that very clear. However, I loved Honor before I started working with the brand, so these are still gonna be my complete honest opinions. So let's just get started. Let's dive straight in with your basic. The black this is the black sports bra i'm wearing as you can see it's got the higher neck um compared to the classic seamless the classic seamless is a lot more it's got a lower neck um this one's i feel personally got more high support than the classic seamless due to this high pulling pulling the girls up you know it's also got a gorgeous back let me just show you the back for a second as you can see again it's a different style to the classic seamless which is what they are two very different collections essentially sometimes you can't go wrong with an all black set if this is your first on a launch and you're looking for something to get a black is always a safe option this bra can go with anything it can be worn for any occasion and the three pieces that i have with me today other than the bra are the long sleeve top which is the new launch the cycling shorts which is also a new launch and the shorter shorts which was in the original effortless drop so here we have the long sleeve top. It is the same material as a sports bra, just with long sleeves, but it doesn't have thumb holes, unlike other brands. This is the back. It's got a really nice crisscross back, and you can actually see the effortless bra through it, which is, I think is just such a cool style for long sleeve top. Something a bit different, which other brands don't have. Now, with the long sleeve tops, the effortless bra... Why can't I say effortless? What What is wrong with me? Right moving on now with the long sleeve tops um also with the short sleeve tops but more of the long sleeves i would recommend sizing down um i actually sized up in these long sleeve tops and as you can see in this video here it is a little bit baggy on me and i personally prefer a much tighter fit um if you prefer this baggier style then i'd say stay true to size don't size up in these um the sizing in the effortless collection isn't quite as stable as the classic in my opinion nothing wrong with that it's just due to the material it fits people in different ways if you want a tighter fit i would suggest sizing down in this top i've got on a medium as i said my sports bra size is normally a small but these ones are a little bit tight on me so i decided for the long sleeve tops to size up but next time i will be getting a small um, again not an issue but something to consider Next, I have both the longer pair of shorts, the cycling shorts, and the original shorter shorts. I'm going to show you the difference in length, um, but before I do, I'm just going to speak through sizing. Again, with shorts, I always size up. Personally, when I'm wearing shorts, I find they can be quite restrictive around my thigh and my quad area. Um, and for this reason, I size up in them. Very preferential but i much prefer for them to be less tight around my quads it just makes my workouts easier it makes them fit comfortable fit more comfortably so i wear a medium in both here we have the cycling shorts as you can see they're a little bit longer when i compare them to the shorter length so it's hard to see with both the black ones i'll do a better comparison later but you might just be able to see the length difference there. So they both start at the same point, but the cycling shorts are about an inch longer, I'd say. So then here we have the difference in the shorter shorts and the cycling shorts. So as you can see, they start from about the same height and then the cycling shorts are, like I said, about an inch, an inch and a half, two inches longer than the shorter length. There you go. As you can see, the cycling shorts are different lengths. Other than that, they are identical. So it just depends on what you prefer. I don't know what I am because originally I was a cycling shorts kind of gal, but I have grown into liking the shorter shorts um, because when Effortless first dropped, I got used to the shorter shorts and I was like, hey, I'm liking these. And now the cycling shorts are back. 
I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see. But it does mean you girls have options. If you want to show off your legs, you want to do that in the gym. Perfect. Short shorts are for you. If you want to wear shorts because it's hot but still are a little bit self-conscious, cycling shorts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is the black done. Staple colour. Can't go wrong with it. I love it. I just love a black pair. A, a black set. Not even just leggings, shorts. A set. Especially with the long sleeve top as well. That is a bit of a dark horse. Because then you are like all black. You just look like a bad bitch. You know? You know what I mean? Let's put these back. Moving on to I think one of the most anticipated colours for this launch. Rosewood. Now, Rosewood was originally released as a colour in the classic seamless collection for the um on Active's first birthday and everyone went insane. I actually got Rosewood in that drop. So as soon as I saw it in Effortless, I was like, that is going straight in my basket. Oh my goodness. And when I'm telling you I'm glad it did, I'm glad it did. Um, I've got the leggings here of these. Um, I'm gonna go through the styling in this Rosewood one so you can see what the Effortless collection is all about. It's a bit harder to show in the black, so that's why I thought I'd wait for a colour. Um, but you start off, you have the classic Honor Active logo. And this FX collection has a 360 design, which means everywhere you look at this collection, there is something new, different that you can see. It's not just going to be a plain old legging. Um, so starting off, yeah, you've got the logo. And down each side, we have bits of contouring. These contours carry round to the main event, the scrunch bum. Um... As you can see, they just come round. They're really subtle, which is what I love about this collection, as is the scrunch bum. Now, I am not a scrunch bum gal. Well, I wasn't a scrunch bum gal. In my Gymshark, Able, the scrunch bum weren't doing it for me. They didn't sit right, and I found they actually made the leggings look a lot more unflattering. However, this scrunch bum is possibly the best scrunch bum I've seen out of leggings I own. It sits so nicely. Um, I was going to say any crack then, it does, putting it out there, it just sits so nicely on your body and you can't even feel it's there. I was worried I'd get kind of like a wedgie sensation, but I don't at all. Also, it is not made from elastic. A lot of other brands use elastic in their scrunch bum, but this, it's actually knitted. So if you give it a pull, I'm worried I'm going to rip them now, but I won't. If you give it a pull, let pull pulling it that has not ripped it at all it is stayed exactly in place none of my effortless so far have ripped and i've worn quite a lot of them for leg day um i think this is such an important thing because scrunch bums are prone to rip i've heard everything about um amplify the alphalete ones they always rip but so far so good so you just have the honor logo down the side of the right leg this is again another thing honor do on all their leggings which i actually really like um, the bra in Rosewood is the same as this one, I've got it here, the same style, same with the logo on the back and on the front and with the cut out back style. Um, again, these bras, so, so comfortable, supportive and when looking at colour matches, black and Rosewood I think such an underrated colour but they just go so well together. Um, I personally love that combo. I actually was watching back one of my old honor hauls um, and I was like, oh, Chrissy said she's bringing Rosa back in another collection. I really hope she does. Chrissy, thank you. Thank you. Because if you haven't got Rosewood already, get it. Like, buy it. Because you, you'll be so thankful. Okay, so I am just going to show you how I mould my um, effortless leggings. You can't see a lot of me right now, but hopefully you'll be able to see me in a bit. So what you want to do is you want to start by lightly pulling up the material up to around your crotch area. So you don't want to do this, you don't want to pull too hard because this is a really light, seamless um, material. So you want to get it till it's about here. You then kind of want to pull up and you want to pull back round to your bum. You want to avoid tugging too much on this waistband. So just lightly pick up and pull. Then you kind of, I normally just wiggle about a little bit, like so. And then you've got your nice peachy 
effortless seconds. So it's really important that you mould your active wear correctly. Correctly? Correctly, because quite a lot of people don't. Um, and they'll get a message saying, why does my Honor Active not look like how it does on you and the other girls? It's really important to mould it like that. Moving swiftly on to another favourite of mine. I know I'm going to say this about all of them, but I do it's something about this colour. And I'm really hoping to get more in the new stock on Monday. Deep taupe. I think I'm saying taupe right. I don't know. Um, but I have got the shorts here in the deep taupe. This is a kind of brownie grey. It's your earth tones, your neutral tones. It's a bit like a mocha. I'm not really sure, but it is gorgeous. This colour, I think, goes with every single honour colour there's ever been. Like, I'll keep pairing it with another thing and being like, that is such a good combo. Why have I not done this before? Yeah, I just think it's such a staple. It's something a little bit different to black, but it's still not too out there. Um, and I think it just goes all with everything. Like, this, like, the leggings, because I don't really wear shorts out, the leggings can just be worn as, like, every day. It can go with any outfit. It can be dressed up, dressed down. Um, but, yeah, taupe, I think, is just a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Now, unfortunately, um, in this new launch with the long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops and cycling shorts, taupe will not be releasing. Taupe, however, will be restocking in the normal short shorts, leggings and bras, so you can definitely still get your hands on it. But not for now is it restocking in the new pieces. In the future, keep an eye out. Um, but sadly, in this launch, it won't be. But I am quite sad about that because it's such a nice colour. Um, but yeah, again, bras just the same got it here they're just a good staple piece you need in your wardrobe so yeah deep taupe one of my fan faves right i am moving on to what is definitely my favorite color again said about all of them but this one is my favorite and this is sage sage was a color i didn't know i needed until it came into my life i had pistachio mineral green of the classic so i was like okay well i've got enough greens no i don't um sage is the most gorgeous colour it's perfect for spring it is just chef's kiss like I can't quite explain to you what I think about sage um I'm gonna go into a little bit more depth about the construction of the leggings now um so Honor have released a two-tiered waistband for this new collection to help keep the waistband cinching at your waist and not gaping which happens quite often with other brands they also have got a longer gusset now i will try and find a pair of my classics to show you but here you have a gusset which goes further down the legs um i've actually got pistachio right here let me grab that and i'll show you the difference so can you see this gusset is a lot shorter i'm trying to get my face out of it um when compared with the sage I think, I'm not 100% sure why they've done this. I think it was to prevent ripping and just make it sit more comfortably. But I think it just works really well. Um, Honor have actually changed their gusset quite a lot. They've got it different in the short shorts and the cycling shorts. So there's clearly a reason behind it, but ask Chrissy, not me. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway. Sage, it goes with every single colour. It just looks amazing on every skin tone. Like I've seen it on so many different skin tones on Instagram and it just suits every single one so well. And then on, with Sage, we also have the new releases. We have the cycling shorts and I have got the short sleeve top in Sage here. The short sleeve top has got cuffs on the arms so it kind of cinches you in and it has also got the same back as the long sleeve top just the cut out back where you can see the bra and the same logos again with the top this one isn't as vital to size down in um simply because you don't have the sleeves which may appear quite baggy however um i would like this to be really tight um just so i find that more comfortable now i haven't actually done a workout in these long sleeve tops or short sleeve tops yet however a lot of other affiliates have and they have said it do why are the dogs having a barking fight why the stress <laughs> anyway um a lot of the other affiliates have said the tops don't rise up so you know like if you were to reach up they're obviously going to move up a tiny bit but they're not that your whole boobs are going to be hanging out now with these tops, they are a single knit material. They are very thin. And I think it depends on the size of your girls. However, um, I would recommend wearing a bra under this. But for photos and stuff, 
the backless is just gorgeous or if you have like really small boobs you don't mind not having the support definitely go um without a bra because the back is gorgeous also what i love about it being backless you can mix and match the colors like i could put taupe under here and then have like, a pop of taupe coming out the back of my sage bra oh, i just think that would look so cool it's just another way to get more colors in there um but yeah with these not as important to size down but potentially still do cycling shorts the same as before the same with the black ones they are just a little bit longer than the shorter shorts um the same design the same i would say size up um especially if you were in between sizes but lovely lovely color i am also going to compare um sage to mineral green and pistachio just so you get a bit of the difference between them um because i know a lot of people are thinking oh maybe they're quite similar just a bit of a difference sage is definitely in the middle of them but also sage just goes great as a combo with both of them like just because you have mineral green and pistachio it doesn't mean you don't need sage because that is what i thought and boy was i wrong so the light is not the best here but this is sage next to pistachio um and mineral green as you can see it is like in the middle it is definitely closer to pistachio the camera isn't really showing the colour difference very well um okay i am now moving on to the fifth and final color which is miss midnight this is actually the first midnight piece i own i didn't get midnight in the original effortless i'm planning to on monday don't you worry um so i've just got it here in the long sleeve top and cycling shorts again with the top you can see here it is baggy on me so i would size down um, however you can still get the vibe you still get how well these colors go together how well the shorts go with the long sleeve top um the back again amazing on this collection it's just oh i can't fault it um this 360 design they've really thought about like you can tell this collection time effort has gone into this literally to make it effortless like although it looks effortless i can tell you it definitely wasn't to produce um but yeah here we just have this midnight it's like a gorgeous royal deep blue like again i haven't really seen another color like this it is just i have got the tracksuit on um paired it with the black bra again a nice little combo moment midnight again it's a bit like the taupe the black it's another staple color um if you don't want to branch out there with your lighter colors like sage and mid um sage and rosewood but yeah midnight is just gorgeous like it literally is like midnight <laughs> okay, now you've seen all the pieces i'm going to just talk you through some information you need to know about pricing the effortless bra the classic one which we haven't changed since the original effortless launch will be 40 pounds um i'm not sure what it is in us dollars but i will convert it down below here we have the bra, £40. The effortless leggings are going to be £50. Now, I know these are sounding quite pricey, but when I tell you it's an investment, like, you will be in this set every single time you go to the gym. You're all going to be like, Mum, don't wash it yet. I want to wear it again. Obviously, do wash it. Oh, actually, speaking of washing whilst holding Rosewood, Rosewood, I have found, does run in the wash. So, um, my recommendation for Rosewood is to hand wash it. I haven't found this so much with the other colours, but if you are looking to wash rosewood and you don't want everything else turning pink um then hand wash it um i think it's very important with this collection and your gym wear as a whole to make sure you're washing it properly there should be um follow just follow the instructions on the washing labels um there should be some info over on honor about how to wash them but yeah just make sure you do because you don't want to ruin them because like i said they're not cheap okay these crop tops are only 35 pounds so they're the cheapest out of the collection but i think they're just such a need in your life so yeah 35 pounds of these and i've realized it is the same in us dollars and euros they haven't done um conversion rates so if you're in us lucky you you get them cheaper than us uk girls but i think you might have more expensive shipping but anyway yeah 35 pounds the long sleeve tops are 40 pounds same as the bra and the new cycling shorts and the old short shorts are both £40. So as I said, I understand that they are quite pricey. However, this is such an investment. Honor has actually been the best investment I think I've ever made. Like, I've spent so much money on Honor. It actually makes me feel sick to think about. Um, however, 
get finding a gym wear that you truly love and also it's not just about that it's about the community behind honor honor it's something not like other brands if you're not on the facebook page if you're not on instagram get on it because everyone is just so lovely helpful people are like selling their bits for cheaper yeah it's just a very woman empowering community which is why i love it so much so that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really hope i've taught you something about effortless answer some of your questions if you do have any more please feel free to comment them or message me on instagram um and like i said if you have found this useful and can shop my link please please do it means honestly so so much to me you don't even understand especially as this is my first launch as an affiliate i'd really love to show my relationship with the brand um so my link is down below it will also be on my instagram there is going to be a little bit more on my instagram talking through pieces in a bit more detail if you do want to head over and see that but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!